Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the cash app is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. Don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. Let's get to it. Tory Lane has been moved to general population in regards to him being in the slammer. Tory Lane's moved to general population, population um, in regards to being in state prison. So, yesterday, there was allegations that he was allegedly going to get bail or have bail and it was false we're going to listen in to what his father had to say we get where he gets his trying to be positive trying to stay focused mind from because of his father i was watching a person talk about it and then i was watching another person trying to talk about it and i learned something from another blogger youtuber if you don't see it in four or five places, don't try and be the first to talk about it. If you don't see it on Hollywood Unlock, Jasmine Brand, um, Neighborhood Talk, you don't see it on Entertainment, you don't see it on E, you don't see it on Us. If you don't see it on Us, <laughs> it might not have happened. Let's listen in on, to the dad. I'm going to play it for my other phone because it'll it'll sound louder. One of my phones is um, the volume. I think I got something caught in the speaker. So let's listen to the shade room, to what the dad had to say, because he spoke out after everyone was trying to allegedly say he was going to be released. That's really interesting to me the length to which people are going so it says to me this is still spiritual warfare there's still a battle at foot and i refuse to hang my head in shame because i know the god that i serve i have known him and i have seen him do miracles from africa to south america to north america to the islands of the sea i have seen god in my life and that's why when i stand i stand confident in him God says he will never allow his children to be shame, uh, to be put to shame before their enemies. So I just wanted to let you all know that I got a call back, and that's what I was told. So we're still waiting. And those of you who are praying people and those of you who, in fact, you know, have that kind of relationship with God, I just call upon you to stand with us because we refuse to take our faith up, up off of what we believe indeed. So aka Tory Lanez. It's, it's just really interesting to me the length to which people are going. So it's so mind you, he was moved about what two three weeks ago, and then he went into general population is what the news reporting should have been. So let's get to the next clip. I don't know why people are trying to falsely put out stuff in regards to him when he's trying to. This is the other thing. And maybe they misread it. Tory Lane applied for bail again to try and be released again. Now, if you listen to other YouTubers, bloggers that go over the court documents, he had to try and apply. And they probably knew, I think they allegedly said it was going to, they knew it was going to be allegedly denied, but he at least had to try because he only had such, he only had so much of a time frame to try. And now he's trying again to try and get bail to be released from jail until his appeal goes through. Let's listen in to the dad to the next clip. I just wanted to come back on here and let you know, God bless all of you. Love you guys with all of my heart. Thank you so much for the continued support that you're sh you, you've shown. And let me just say this lastly, you know, it's interesting to me again that 
of all the persons that people will be doing the most to to you know whether their intentions are good whether they're evil that i do not know but it just again speaks to me of how strategic and important that daystar peterson is to everything that's going on here and his voice so that's the clip i i think the wi-fi is is silence i guarantee you that his voice is not going to be silenced so God bless you all. I love you. Please continue to pray for us. We truly do appreciate. I just wanted to come back on here and let you know. And this teaches some men a huge lesson. Be careful when you go to a party you weren't initially invited to. Okay? Be careful if you know that people are trying to get you to sign on the dotted line and you don't want to sign and you want to be... um solo and not signed to a record deal and then you go to a party you get so intoxicated but you have security let your security make sure you're safe between zero to 100 you're intoxicated nobody should be around you let me get my client to where i need to be and then i'll come back and get you huh. not a security problem he went to kylie jenner's house he got extremely intoxicated they got into a huge argument into the car check out my old video of what Kelsey had to say about the altercation. And her story is tied to Kylie. Hello. Check out my video. So this is the dad speaking. This is Megan Cuniff. And they're basically saying that he has not been released. He is still in custody. So prayers go out to Tory Lane. Everyone, be careful who your friends are. Be careful getting intoxicated. If you have security, make sure your security takes care of you and only you to get you from point A to point Z and don't focus on nobody else. I'm paying you. Now, mind you, don't forget his security guard was MIA. And then when he finally got to court, they didn't want to talk to him. That was plot planned. Where was the security guard? Why did Kelsey plead the fifth? Everybody really needs to think. Why is all this going on? Tory should have been careful. He knew what was going on behind the scenes. He knew who, who was trying to get him to sign on the dotted line. But, but as a grown man, you got to be careful who your friends are. Check out Megan's video about her ex-boyfriend and what she said about that situation. Her situation with her first, her ex-boyfriend, where she did a video on it, that told her and taught her what to do about this Tory Lane situation. Be careful. I listen to a lot of people in regards to them having the actual recordings from Kelsey. I see the court documents and then I've seen all the evidence and what evidence was missing, what evidence was presented. There's a lot that went on in regards to this case, period. Well wishes. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tory Lanez is still in custody. He's in general population. He did request to have another bail requesting him to try and get out. Now, whether the judge will approve that or, or not, I don't know. But he had to file the first time, and he only had a certain amount of time, and he had to do that. Now, he's going to request another bail hearing, bail request until his appeal goes through. Thanks for tuning in. Everyone have a great day.